<laughs> Have you ever considered that it's actually easier to get students to speak in English using drama instead of textbooks? Let me show you a really simple, easy drama activity that will get students physically involved, which helps their memory power a lot easier than simply drilling or learning by rote. This drama activity is called the art gallery and all you need is an open space. Have your students standing up and put them in two pairs. One, pair, one student will be the artist, the other student will be a big lump of clay. You are going to give each artist an emotion card and they have one minute to sculpt that big lump of clay into the emotion on the card. So for example, here we have happy, so you have to sculpt the, the clay. Happy, yeah, happy! Or it could be, for example, ah, sad. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> for example, after that minute is up, get the sculptures to freeze in that pose. You are then going to collect all of the artists and you're going to walk them around the art gallery. They have to then guess what emotion is each sculpture. You can elicit and you can say, hmm, what emotion is this? Or how does he feel? And they can say, oh, sad? Happy? Is he sad? Is he happy? Or he is happy? Whatever is easiest for your students. When they have guessed all of the emotions, then you can simply play again by swapping parts. So in five minutes, your students have not only learnt new vocabulary, they've practiced it and they've had a lot of fun, hopefully. <laughs> so give it a go. But the only question is for me, for you, is what do you think is the most difficult emotion for your students to sculpt. Let me know in the comments. And remember, be theatrical.